All right, so welcome back. Uh, this is a new demo of my TFT SPI code, which basically uses my frame buffer GFX base library and supports TFT screens on top and then sends uh, the pixels to each kind of TFT. Uh, they're all connected to an ESP32 right now. Uh, obviously they don't all look right because each of them needs a separate driver. Right now I'm using a driver for this guy from Adafruit. Um, and it kind of looks a little bit like something on the ILI9341, but of course it doesn't look good. This one is a uh, different resolution. It's only 128, 128 as opposed to 128, uh, 160, which is why it's kind of looping. But at least, you know, it shows that the connectivity is working and I can show that uh, the different screens, uh, even though they have different drivers, can be used the same way. Uh, what's interesting actually is the more expensive screen from Adafruit is less bright, whereas this little cheap guy uh, has extra pixels that are being displayed on the side. I don't know if it's a bug with the device I got or if it needs a driver tweak for that. But uh, yeah, it has a few extra pixels. But either way, the code itself works. Um, so this is again Mark Estes uh, demos working um, in 128, 160. I had to extend them because they did not support screens 128 or bigger. But now it's working well enough. At least most code is. Um, it was never tested for anything that big. And I mean big in pixels, not big in size, obviously. Yeah, the brightness is off by quite a bit on the other screen. It's barely visible. But there you go, you get the idea. Um, I'll do another quick demo on the 128 by 28. And this one turns out that uh, 320, 240 in uh, 3 byte per pixel is actually 200. Uh, 30 kilobytes of RAM, which doesn't really fit on anything but a TNZ 3.6 and once you add some code to run on it, it just does run out of RAM. So I actually don't have anything to run this with my frame buffer code because you're supposed to store everything on the screen and of course frame buffer GFX um, is actually designed to store the frame buffer in memory because you modify the frame buffer directly, you could read a pixel, rewrite it and stuff like that. So. That probably is slightly too many pixels for that use. There you go, I hope you get to enjoy it.